They collect items here to tell stories. We go back to the word history as his story. The stories that have often been told from one perspective. As we're writing history, we're recording history, we don't want to be what is now being called male, pale, and stale. We don't want to go there. So how do we balance that and how do we be fair? Deb Friedman is a volunteer and the curator of a new exhibit at the Tacoma Historical Society, featuring the stories of local women. We were able to borrow a sweater that was worn in the Olympic parade when Gretchen Koenig Fraser represented Tacoma. She was the first American to win gold in downhill skiing. She was the first female ever to have her picture on a weedy cereal box. The first female ever on a weedy cereal box was from Tacoma. These are the details that are also part of a new book. We haven't talked about this. So this is the book that is just off the press today. Deb Friedman wrote it to go along with the exhibit, 21 Tales of Tacoma Women, including women like Cornelia Barry Lassley. It's 1946 that the Lincoln principal, Burt Beale, hired her as the first African-American teacher in the state of Washington to teach in the public schools. They're the stories we haven't heard and others that haven't been written yet. One of the reasons we've not yet done 21 Native American tales, 21 African American tales, is because we don't have those voices yet to write that for us, and we hope that'll be future projects for us to do. The goal is to reshape the narrative and hopefully break barriers. We actually put a glass ceiling up that we shattered. Uh, so fair. we did, right? So we have shattered glass up on the ceiling. And to share her story from a different perspective. Yes, it had to be her voice. It had to be her voice. In Tacoma, Jenna Hanchard, King 5 News. 21 women helped fund that project. The Tacoma Historical Society will donate 1,600 copies of the history book to the Tacoma Library and to several schools.